Hello everybody, Chris Profi, Musically Obsessed. I'm here to give you my first impressions of Taylor Swift's brand new album. Her 10th studio album just came out this month, October 2022, Midnights. All right. So this follows her last two records in 2020, Folklore and Evermore. Now, first off, I love the cover. It kind of harkens back to those 60s album covers with the song titles on the side. There are different variants of the CD and vinyl. I happen to get the mahogany dish disc. Here is the uh, hype sticker. And this is what the mahogany CD looks like. I'm sure it mirrors the mahogany vinyl. Now inside the CD, it's the same inners as you would expect. You get a write-up by Taylor that I have not read yet. You get lyrics and photos. And I believe that with every variant, there are a few different photos. Now, Taylor, I'm not buying all the different variants. I love you, but I'm not going to get them. I'm sure, and I know that there are people out there who rushed out and bought all the CD variants and all the vinyl. Maybe there are people who bought all the CDs and all the vinyl. Hey, good for you. I'm not going to. I'm fine with my CD that I can listen to in my car. Sounds great. And uh, again, I'm fine with that. So let's talk a little bit about the music. And I'm not going to do a long review on this album. I've listened to it quite a few times in my car. So I definitely have a vibe on where this album is and where it sort of places in her discography. As I said, it follows Evermore and Folklore. Where Evermore and Folklore were more of a, a kind of folky vibe with quite a bit of piano-laden type songs, this steps it up a little bit with the electronics, but it's still introspective. I would say that this album is a little bit more dreamy. It's got a dreamy quality to it. All the songs, to me, flow into each other, and at first, it's sort of hard to tell the difference between the songs because Taylor Swift uses a lot of the same melodies and a lot of the same arrangements. But again, the more you listen to it, those song ideas jump out at you a little bit more. It starts out really strong. I love Lavender Haze. I love Maroon. Antihero is a great tune. I believe that there's a video for that song. Snow on the Beach is the duet with Lana Del Rey. One of my favorite songs on the album, You're on Your Own, Kid. And there's a song called Vigilante Shit, which I really dig as well. So it's one of those growers for me. And again, I like these last two albums. I know that there are some people who are kind of iffy on them. So for me, this follows kind of that same vibe, but as I said, a little bit more electronics behind it. Um, very different than her early country stuff. Very different than 1989. That album uh, was upbeat, poppy, some dance type stuff in there. These last three records are sort of a departure, but I think that that's why I connect with them more. It's a more mature tailor. So I like where she's headed with these records and where she's at with this album. I'm always wondering, you know, where is she going to go to next? Will she go back to that country style? I would love to see her do an all acoustic record. That would be right up my alley. Um, so here's what I'm going to tell you. If you like Taylor Swift, you're probably going to like this record. If you sort of uh, shy away from Taylor Swift and you're like, eh, I don't think I want to own any of her stuff, then, hey, hey, you're probably not going to buy this. But if you're sort of wondering, like, hmm, this sounds interesting, electronic beats, a dreamy-esque sort of quality to it, different than her earlier stuff, a more mature sound, you might want to give it a try. Maybe stream it, see what you think. 
Um, and if you love it, hey, go buy all the different variants. But I'm telling you right now, you're probably good with just either the CD or vinyl. So again, um, on a scale from one to five, five being the best, I would give this a 3.5. So there you go. I even rated it for you. I'd love to know what you think. Those are my initial thoughts. Uh, leave your comments below. And um, thanks for watching.